Included in the kit are the is the Ackerman arm, uh, it's made out of alloy, and it has the top portion here has bevels on it, and those are that's the portions that go up. We're going to match the steering knuckle up to the side of the vehicle that we're going to put it on, and then the Ackerman arm goes in the forward inside position, like so. We're going to go ahead and screw those on. We're going to use some Loctite on here because it is a, a metal to metal connection. So we're just going to put a small amount of Loctite on there. Comes with the beveled screws that we're going to use. Let's see if I can hold that. Put it all together here. It's kind of awkward. So we'll get the screws put in and tighten them down. And it is metal to metal connection, so we will use the Loctite like we showed earlier. Don't forget that, you don't want your screws backing out. Alright, so the arm is on. That's going to sit down just like so. Alright, whenever we're working on a part that has bearings, we generally like to recommend that you replace the bearings as you go along. Um, otherwise, when you take these off, you can reuse your old bearings. We're going to use a 10 by 15 and a 5 by 11 bearing. And we got these from fasteddybearings.com. They offer individual bearings as well as bearing kits uh, for the Wraith. Now the bearings are going to slide down into the holes here. And very simply just set them in. And if you push them in straight, they're going to slide right in. They are, not, they are a, a press fit, but they're not a solid press fit. You should not have to use an arbor press on there. As I suspected, I believe that these little notches in here are to help you remove the bearings. And when I say help you remove the bearings, when you take a bearing out, you don't want to hammer the inside or put pressure on the inside race. You want it on the outside race. So I believe that these will allow us to remove bearings from here without damaging them, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. We are going to remove this bearing. The reason being is that we're going to want to use a little bit of bearing and shaft retainer on there. And basically it's a, a semi-soft glue that's going to hold the bearing into the metal part. You're only going to want to put just a little, little bit in there, not much at all. And it just helps glue the bearing in there so that it doesn't fall out. We'll go ahead and press that back in. We're going to give that some time to dry before we install it. We're going to do the same on the rear bearing. Go ahead and test fit your bearing first. Make sure it's all good. Then you can put just a little bit of retaining fluid in there. And this bearing is a little bit tougher to get in just because it's hidden in the back side. But we're going to put that in and press it in just like so. Again, bearings or individually or in a kit are available from fasteddybearings.com. Okay, so this portion is ready to go on. Not really anything that we're going to have to do to the C-Hub. So let's go ahead and uninstall what we have going on on the race already. And we're going to go ahead and take off the hex. Take the pin out, set that aside. Let's uh, undo the tie rod here. It's just going to be one screw that's on the bottom of the Ackerman arm. It's got Loctite on it, so it's not wanting to come off too easily. Okay, so we got that separated. Now we are going to remove the 
screws on the top and the bottom of the steering knuckle. Take those off. And they've been lock tighted so they're a little bit difficult to get out, which is just fine. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. As you're taking the C-hub off, you're going to make sure that you don't lose the bushings that are in there. A lot of times they like to fall out. Okay, so we're going to slide this unit off. Again, make sure that you don't lose the little bushings that are in here. We are going to remove those and reuse them in our new steering knuckle. And with these, when we put them into our new steering knuckle one more time, we're going to be using our bearing and shaft retainer which is also available from fasteddybearings.com. Very handy to have the stuff around. Just put a very small dab in there. We'll insert the bushings in and let the retainer dry so that the bushings aren't falling out. This one's a little tough going in. There we go. So we have our bushings in. To finish taking this whole thing apart, at this point we're going to go ahead and pull our axle out. And along with the axle may come a bearing. Seeing as how that bearing's on our mind, we're going to remove that. And a lot of people just buy a tube of bearings, and then that way they have plenty to go around. They're inexpensive and well worth having on hand. So we're just going to slide this bearing back over here so that we don't forget to put it back on later. At this point we're going to remove the two screws from the front here. As we take a look we're going to want to make sure that we remember how our C-hub is clocked on there and right now mine is clocked all the way back in this position. So we're going to take the screws out of here. One on the top and one on the bottom. And these are tough to get off, but we're just going to pull straight out on that unit and take it off. As we put the new unit on from Vanquish. We're going to want to make sure that the longer tab is towards the bottom and that our hole is located in the proper position so that our axles are, are clocked the same way as when we took them off. And at this point we're going to go ahead and slide that back on. And they're tight. You're going to have to give it a good push until it seats all the way on. Boy those silver ones look nice, don't they? At this point We'll go ahead and put our two screws back in. You just want to put them in until they touch. Um, if you try to go too much tighter than that, they're going to strip out. And we'll put our one in the bottom here. Sure like the way the silver looks on the black vehicle. That's my preference. But they do have many, many different colors. Okay. So that's on. Now let's take our front hub that's assembled. Make sure that when you tilt it over your little bushing doesn't fall out. We're going to slide the bushings on the top and to the bottom of the C-hub. Actually we're not. <laughs> we're forgetting something very important. We're at this point going to slip our axle back in. Go. Just 
just like so. Make sure that that bearing is completely set. Now we're going to put our steering knuckle on. Don't think I got those bushings all the way in because it's being a little bit tight coming on here. Let me see if I can get it at a straighter angle. Yep, see my, you can see that my bushing here is sitting up just a tad bit. So I'm going to have to push that in a little bit further. Putting it on the end of my bench here. Seeing if I can't get it a little more seated. There we go, now it slips right on. Make sure that our bearings are all in place. And our screw holes are lined up. Okie dokie. So, Vanquish has also supplied us with some new screws that we can use in through the top here. They are metal to metal. So we're going to use just a small amount of Loctite. Put these back in. I really like the way that these look. Um, on the older ones, we had these things hanging out the back here, and uh, this is just much, much cleaner setup. So we'll go ahead and screw the top one in, snug it down, get the bottom one ready. A little bit of Loctite on it. And screw the bottom one in. We're just about done. Very, very simple install and easy upgrade. You're going to get, if you're running plastics, um, it's a huge, huge upgrade. Um, you're going to be a lot stiffer. You're not going to get a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, flex out of them and everything's going to remain just a lot more durable. And at this point we're going to go ahead and hook up the tie rod to the bottom. And we're all done. Of course, we'll have to put our pin and our hex back in so that our wheel will go on. But uh, let's take a little bit closer look at this for you now that it's all installed. You can see how that looks. Very clean, very precise setup. Focus. There we go. And now we have our new C-Hubs and... steering knuckles on our wraith. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube forward slash Team Fast Eddie. We have hundreds and hundreds of installs and reviews. We also have building the wraith step by step through the manual as well as many fifth scale tutorials. So stop on by and say hi. In the meantime, you can vis visit Vanquish at their website and choose any of their products and purchase direct from them. Or I do believe that they are carried by several dealers. So, hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, have a good day.